it's me, your teacher Karen again, and I'm back for our lesson, Things Around Us. I hope that you are again excited to be having this discussion with me. So let's go! For today's activity, kids, please open your book on page 10, Things Around Us. So what we are going to do is to look at the pictures. Okay, so we have here the pictures. And we are going to identify which items are for personal and items which are for public use. When we say personal use, these are the things that is meant to be used only by us. It means nobody can use it aside from ourselves. And public use means these are things that can be used by anybody else. And can, it can be used by you, your teacher, or your friend. And let's find out looking at the, by looking at the pictures. What are the items that are for personal use and for public use? Toothbrush. Is this for personal use or for public use? Very good. This is for personal use. You cannot let anybody use your toothbrush. This is only meant to be used by yourself. How about a chair? Is this for personal use or for public use? Well, it can be for public use. Use. It means that your friend, you, or your teacher can use this chair. How about a cup? Is this for personal use or public use? Okay, a cup is for personal use. If it is your cup, then you cannot let anybody else use it. You're the only one who can use it. So this one is for personal use. We also have here a table. How about table? Is it for personal use or for public use? Good job! A table can be used by other people. So it means it is for public use. How about handkerchief? Is it for personal use or public use? Well, your handkerchief should not be used by other people. It should only be used by you. So it means that a handkerchief is for personal use. Now we have here a wall clock. Is this for personal use or for public use? Very good, kids. A wall clock can be used by anybody else. It can be used by your friend, by your teacher, by your mom or your dad. So this one here is for public use. Now for the activity, it says here, write the words above to the matching types of items in this space. Okay, the first group of items is for personal use. What are the items here that are for personal use? We have toothbrush. So you are going to write the word toothbrush here. Just copy the word toothbrush and write it here. What else are the items for personal use? A cup. You are going to copy the word cup. Write it here. Another item is the handkerchief. So a handkerchief. Again, just copy the word kids and write it on this space. How about the items for public use? Okay, we have a chair. Okay, chair. Just copy the word chair and write it on this space. Table. Copy the word table and write it on this space. Clock. Copy the word clock and write it, write it on this space. So, this space is for personal use, and this space is for public 
use. And that's all kids. I hope you learned something. Kids, I hope that you learned something from our discussions and our activities. I hope to be doing fun with you again next time. Bye-bye!